Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. So a few weeks ago, I did a video on a DIY paint booth. So an inflatable paint booth company contacted me saying, you don't know what you're missing. So they sent me one to try out. Let's see how it works. So last time it took me a few hours to kind of uh, cut, assemble, and get everything ready. This time I'm hoping it'll take a few minutes. Let's see. Here is the inflatable paint booth. We will go ahead and set it up. We have two uh, blower style fans. Um, the smaller one, I believe, is for airflow, and then this one is, I think they call it the inflator. So this is to kind of blow up the whole booth, and this is airflow through the booth. One thing I noticed with my DIY paint booth is even though I had uh, a lot of airflow, I still ended up getting um, overspray. So I don't know if you can see that right here. So you can see that comes off. So overspray was somewhat of a... I don't want to call it a problem, but uh, something you had to deal with in the DIY booth. So you might be asking, didn't you already build a paint booth? The answer is yes. I have painted in it uh, quite a bit. So I did all the primer and did a few other things. Um, this paint booth though came just in time to do some color and clear coat. So I'm gonna try the second half of my paint with this new booth. The previous paint booth took two and a half hours to set up. I think this one will take two and a half minutes. Let's see. All right, it took about 15 minutes it would have been faster if I had the stakes kind of already set up or if this was indoors. The wind just tends to kind of blow it a little bit, but now we are set up. Okay, I will take you on a little tour. All right, the back here, it's got an entrance and it's got a little staging room. These are the carbon filters. So again, this will zip closed. So this room right here gets pressurized by the fan that blows all the air through the paint booth. Um, I'm going to say it's roughly 11 feet. Uh, might be 12 feet to the actual windows and about 3 feet wide. So I think online it said 13 feet, but there's no way this is 13 feet wide. Yeah, so it's pretty much 11. And then lengthwise, it's about 18 feet of the paint booth itself. So for me, this will be plenty of length. I think width-wise, it might be just a little on the tight side. All right, height-wise, it is eight and a half feet to the top here. But if you're wondering about clearance here, it's about seven and a half feet. There are these windows on the side. I shouldn't call them windows, but this is when you want to activate the filters. So the, um, all the gases and vapors from spraying, when you seal up the rest of the booth, they'll come out the filters. We're having some filming difficulties here in the booth, but just laid down the uh, first little bit of blue. And also clear coat. So the paint booth is nice. This back section you can open up. It's got straps up here to kind of keep it open. Got it staked. Um, the only downside and again, this is not really a thing against the booth, but um, it tends to be 10 to 20 degrees hotter in the booth than outside. So it's kind of just uh, 
the gray just really kind of tends to absorb the heat and then inside the booth it is hot. All right, I'm gonna do one last uh, painting session. It's starting to get pretty hot in here. All right, here is the downside. 117 in the booth. If I kind of just go over here, if I was painting in the garage. Eighty-four. All right, just finishing up here, cleaning up. The spray tent has a double layer, high efficiency filtration system with an isolation room and a standard EPA cotton filter. It is made of high strength and airtight Oxford cloth. The tent is very high quality and durable and can last for several jobs. For indoor use, this can be matched with the elephant's trunk and is an exhaust collection system that can port the air out of an inside building. We did say DIY versus inflatable paint boot. So here are some of my thoughts. As far as pros and cons for the DIY version, it's always gonna be a little bit cheaper if you do it yourself. It's also gonna seem and feel a little bit cheaper if you do it yourself. Um, I will say most of these obstacles can all be overcome, but for me, the, um, the fans, the, the circulation was kind of, I'll say a little bit on the low side for the DIY. I'll also say that the DIY, I'm gonna consider somewhat disposable. So not really meant for several paint jobs, although you could manage to get it by, not really intended to be kind of long lasting. That could also be seen as a plus side that, you know what, it, when you're done, you just throw it away. You don't have to store it. Um, I will say that again, the DIY paint booth, you had uh, again, just the very cheap plastic. So again, that was kind of disposable. So if you got overspray or things on that, not a big deal. It's always planned to just be thrown away. I will say the DIY is more time consuming to set up and take down. So the inflatable paint booth, it's, I don't know, it's just cool. It's kind of like there's a bounce house in your neighborhood and everybody's saying like, what is that? That looks cool. Um, it does feel very kind of professional. Uh, I think it's got a little more circulation. Everything's kind of intended to work that way. I will say the staging area for the paint booth is a plus. Um, it would be great if it's just maybe a foot wider. It felt just a little cramped, but again, it was super nice to have a separate room um, that you could kind of mix and do things outside the called the clean area so that was super nice so the inflatable paint booth it could be inside or outside um, my DIY one yeah it couldn't really go outside inflatable paint booth setup is really easy takedown it's not hard but it's just it seems a little awkward to kind of roll things up when it's all full of air but again not it really doesn't take too long I hope this experience has kind of helped you understand um, a little bit about inflatable paint booth, what some of the pros and cons are compared to the DIY version. Overall impressions, it was really well made. Um, I think the design, everything was really well thought out. Um, really good materials. It looks like it lasts for a long time. Um, it's convenient, super easy to set up. Um, they do come in lots of different uh, sizes. Um, so I think you saw in the video, the, I think the sizes are meant for, I'll call it the exterior dimensions. So height, width, and length. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're ordering so that you get enough space. And really, I didn't have any complaints. The only kind of downside was Mother Nature. Um, if you are planning to do this outdoors on a summer day, it does get hot. And uh, if it's really windy, um, it does have stakes and things. It keeps it uh, in place, it doesn't fly away, but um, it, the walls do move a little bit. If you are interested in an inflatable paint booth, 
I'll have a link in the description below. And specific for my viewers, there will be a discount code. I remember the first time I saw an inflatable paint booth on YouTube, and I just thought that is so cool. And I'm really happy I got to try it out, and it really is cool. So if you're in the market, go ahead and grab one. That'll do it for this time. See you next time.